Life Beyond Earth, A Journey Through the Solar System The solar system is a gravitationally bound system dominated by the Sun. A G-type main-sequence star that contains over 99.8% of its total mass. It formed approximately 4.6 billion years ago from the gravitational collapse of a giant interstellar molecular cloud. As the cloud collapsed, the majority of the material gathered at the center to form the Sun, while the remaining matter flattened into a protoplanetary disk. Within this disk, dust and gas coalesced through accretion to form the planets, moons, asteroids, and other objects that orbit the Sun today. Closest to the Sun are the four terrestrial, or rocky, planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. These worlds are characterized by their solid, rocky surfaces, metallic cores, and relatively few moons, Earth has one, Mars has two, and Mercury and Venus have none. They are denser and more compact than the outer planets. The conditions on these planets vary drastically, from the scorching, runaway greenhouse effect on Venus to the thin, cold atmosphere. Ancient riverbeds of Mars, with Earth being the only one known to host liquid water and life. Orbiting between Mars and Jupiter is the asteroid belt, a region populated by numerous irregularly shaped bodies composed of rock and metal. These asteroids are remnants from the solar system's early formation that never coalesced into a planet due to Jupiter's strong gravity. Beyond the belt reside the two gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. These are the solar system's largest planets, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, with no solid surface. They are known for their spectacular ring systems and their large families of moons. Further out are the two ice giants, Uranus and Neptune. They are composed largely of ices such as water, ammonia, and methane, which give them their distinct blue-green hues. They have thinner outer layers of hydrogen and helium compared to the gas giants. Beyond Neptune's orbit lies the Kuiper Belt, a vast, disc-shaped region filled with icy bodies and dwarf planets. This is the home of Pluto, which was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006, along with other objects like Hami and Makemake. The solar system's outermost boundary is defined by the heliosphere, a vast bubble of charged particles blown outward by the solar wind, which protects the planets from interstellar radiation. Our exploration of the solar system continues through telescopes and space probes, which have visited every planet and are now venturing into interstellar space, providing a deeper understanding of our cosmic neighborhood and its place in the galaxy.